Hello, HSE professionals. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're exploring a vital component of workplace safety, conducting an effective safety audit. Safety audits are crucial for identifying potential hazards, ensuring compliance with regulations, and promoting a culture of safety within your organization. Whether you're new to safety audits or looking to enhance your existing practices, this video will provide you with the comprehensive steps needed to carry out a successful safety audit. Let's dive in. Step 1. Understand the purpose of a safety audit. Before we begin, it's important to understand what a safety audit is and why it's necessary. A safety audit is a systematic evaluation of workplace safety policies, procedures, and practices. It helps identify existing and potential hazards, assesses the effectiveness of current safety measures, and ensures compliance with legal and regulatory requirements. Conducting regular safety audits can significantly reduce the risk of workplace accidents and injuries, improve overall safety performance, and demonstrate your organization's commitment to maintaining a safe working environment. Step 2. Planning the safety audit. Effective planning is the cornerstone of a successful safety audit. Start by defining the scope and objectives of the audit. Determine which areas, processes, and activities will be covered and what specific outcomes you aim to achieve. Gather relevant documents, such as past audit reports, safety policies, incident records, and regulatory standards. Next, assemble an audit team with diverse expertise, including HSE professionals, supervisors, and representatives from various departments. Ensure that team members are familiar with the audit process and understand their roles and responsibilities. Develop a detailed audit plan that outlines the audit schedule, methodologies, and tools to be used. Step three, develop an audit checklist. An audit checklist is an essential tool that guides the audit process and ensures a thorough evaluation of all relevant aspects. The checklist should be tailored to your organization's specific needs and industry standards. Include items related to physical conditions, safety procedures, employee practices, and compliance with regulations. For example, your checklist might cover housekeeping practices, condition of machinery and equipment, use of personal protective equipment, PPE, emergency exits and evacuation procedures, chemical storage and handling, training and competency of employees. Ensure that the checklist is comprehensive, but also flexible enough to adapt to any unexpected findings during the audit. Step four, conducting the safety audit. With your plan and checklist in hand, it's time to conduct the audit. Begin with a kickoff meeting to brief the audit team and relevant personnel about the audit's objectives, scope, and schedule. Emphasize the importance of open communication and cooperation throughout the process. During the audit, systematically inspect the workplace using your checklist. Observe work practices, inspect equipment, and assess the physical environment. Engage with employees to understand their safety practices, concerns, and suggestions. Take detailed notes and photographs to document your findings. Look for both compliance and non-compliance issues. Identify any deviations from established safety standards and procedures. Pay attention to potential hazards that may not have been previously identified. Remember, the goal is to identify areas for improvement, not to assign blame. Step 5. Analyze and document findings. After completing the audit, analyze the collected data to identify trends, patterns, and areas of concern. Compare your findings against regulatory standards, industry best practices, and your organization's safety policies. Classify issues based on their severity and potential impact on workplace safety. Document your findings in a comprehensive audit report. The report should include an executive summary highlighting key findings and recommendations, detailed descriptions of identified hazards and non-compliance issues, Supporting evidence such as photographs and inspection notes. 
Recommendations for Corrective Actions and Improvements A Timeline for Implementing Corrective Measures Ensure that the report is clear, concise, and accessible to all relevant stakeholders. Step 6. Present Findings and Recommendations Present your audit findings and recommendations to management and relevant personnel. Use the audit report to facilitate a constructive discussion about identified issues and the necessary corrective actions. Emphasize the importance of addressing these issues promptly to prevent accidents and ensure compliance with safety regulations. Encourage feedback and collaboration in developing an action plan. Assign responsibilities for implementing corrective measures and set realistic deadlines. Ensure that management understands their role in supporting and monitoring the implementation of these actions. Step 7. Implement Corrective Actions The effectiveness of a safety audit ultimately depends on the timely and effective implementation of corrective actions. Work with relevant departments to develop and execute an action plan that addresses the identified issues. This may involve updating safety policies, providing additional training, improving equipment maintenance, or making physical changes to the workplace. Monitor the progress of corrective actions and provide support as needed. Regularly communicate with management and employees to ensure that everyone is aware of the changes and their role in maintaining a safe working environment. Step 8. Follow-up and continuous improvement. Conduct follow-up audits to verify that corrective actions have been implemented and are effective in addressing the identified issues. Continuous monitoring and periodic re-audits help ensure that safety improvements are sustained over time. Promote a culture of continuous improvement by encouraging employees to report safety concerns, participate in safety initiatives, and contribute to ongoing safety improvements. Use the insights gained from each audit to refine your safety policies, procedures, and training programs. Conducting an effective safety audit is a crucial part of maintaining a safe and compliant workplace. By following these steps, understanding the purpose, planning, developing a checklist, conducting the audit, analyzing findings, presenting recommendations, implementing corrective actions, and ensuring follow-up, you can significantly enhance your organization's safety performance. Thank you for watching our video on how to do an effective safety audit. We hope you found this information valuable and practical for your workplace. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Visit our website, hsebox.com, for more resources and insights on health, safety, and environmental management. Let us know in the comments what topics you'd like us to cover next. Stay safe and see you in the next video.